Welcome to Nyandarwa Institute of Science and Technology, a beacon of development. Our mission, to provide globally competitive technical and vocational education and training in specialized skills and competencies for sustainable development. We are committed to implement government policies in Tibet institutions. Our vision, to be a center of excellence in science-driven applied research and innovations for enhanced livelihood of agriculture that is the backbone of this county. We also offer ICT which is a must in today's world. Just like this in other institutions, research and development department is very important and key just to make sure that everything we do in the institution in terms of training and also other areas uh, it is, um, uh, stems from research so that we can be able to, uh, to affect what we are getting from research. Somebody said that uh, numbers do not lie. So when uh, we do research, we get figures from the ground and therefore we are able to work on them. The electrical department was started in the year 2013, one of the fastest growing departments. We have a total of 13 trainers and a total population of over 350 students. We offer various courses, starting from Diploma in Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Power Option, Diploma in Electrical and Electronics Telecommunication Option, Certificate in Electrical and Electronics Power Option and also Artisan Course. Engineering Lab. In this lab, we have a total of 21 computers which are installed with the latest technologies. These computers were part of the donation from AFDB and the Government of Kenya donation. It has assisted us greatly by, when we are preparing our students and while they are doing their projects. This is where they spend most of their time doing their research and also simulating their projects which they construct as one of the requirements of Kenya National Examination Council to be awarded with various diplomas and certificates. Our department is heading now to, to CBET under the 
the CBA program, where our students, we train various courses on competence-based education and training, where we normally focus on the doing activity, that the student has to be competent when we release them, we release them into the market. As a department, we are starting a CBET course in electrical installation level four, which will start next year, January 2020. Furthermore, we undertake various programs to motivate our students, this being the robotics competition, which we compete favorably, where our students are highly involved in construction, programming of the robots. Secondly, we, are, we want to integrate the latest technologies in the PLCs, that is programmable logic controllers, in our, in our training, where we go further than the, maybe what the syllabus states by training these students how to program the PLCs, which is the latest technology in manufacturing industries. Now we have learned about Microsoft Word. Now today we are going to learn about the Microsoft Excel, okay? Yes. As you can see, in Microsoft Excel, we are taught about the calculations, whereby these are called the columns. And then when you come this way, they are called the rows. Yeah, we are offering two main courses, certificate in ICT, which is a two-module course, and diploma in ICT, which normally takes three modules. Now each, <clears throat> normally we have two intakes for the certificate course, one in September and one in January. And for the diploma course, the intakes are mainly in January and May of each year. Mm -hmm. And also ICT is done in every other course, whether it is engineering or business, Every course, at least students must, at least in the first year, be introduced to ICT concepts. With ICT, we are not only helping the student to have IT literacy and exposure to the global world, but also we are using it for training and improving the trainee's skills. With Ajira program, that the ICT Ministry has rolled out, our institute is on the forefront in ensuring that all the st students who graduate from here have got that ICT skill, especially Ajira and other related. to the Automotive Engineering Department of the Andara Institute of Science and Technology. We have different classes at different levels. We start with the artisan, certificates, and diploma. Then we have agricultural engineering at the diploma levels. We have both hard-on experience and theory practice. This is, for example, is the Automotive Engineering Workshop. Now you can see we have different works going on, including engine maintenance, uh, spraying, panel beating, etc. So with all hard on experience, you can get it at this workshop. We'll be starting a course on CBET, where we are only be concentrating on hard on experience. Mostly, for example, those who want to have self-employment, you can have, you can come and have a particular trait you go and practice. If you see, for example, you have you, you need another extra experience you need, you can come, we, we, we teach you, and then you go improving on yourself. In automotive also, we have felt that every student who is doing engineering, uh, you know, becomes competent, a competent driver in line with the government policy of uh, streamlining, driving uh, institutions or uh, driving schools, uh, we are offering uh, one class so far of, uh, of, of driving school uh, and we want to improve, increase the number of classes to include also uh, plants such as uh, tractors, border-border uh, uh, training and uh, not only that, we want to make sure that also all the students, whatever trade they come here to learn, 
all of them live here when they know how to drive. They are computer literate and uh, they have improved their skill also in entrepreneurship. In addition to that, we are also putting a lot of effort to come up with the state of art garage that will serve this community and, uh, and the society at large. With that, uh, I'm sure our students will get uh, good training in automotive and also it can be a source of income. This is a department that offers our two courses, Diploma in Agriculture and Certificate in Agriculture. In the department, we have uh, units like Agricultural Engineering that houses the equipment, tractors, and uh, farm implements. The farm implements in Ikiliud, uh, the corn harvester, then we have the disc plows, we have the moldboard plows, we have the harrows, uh, both rounded and slatted discs, we have uh, ditching machines, we have potato excavators, and we also have trailers for these tractors for transport within the compound. I'm pursuing a diploma in, in general agriculture and Aero Institute. Okay, I love this course. We've got a very big track of land that is available for one to do his practicals. For those who are outside there, I would advise them to come and join us in Yandaro Institute. It's a beacon of development. According to the government policy that it intends to change the curriculum in uh, Tibet institutions, we intend to introduce the Tibet courses. Tibet is a uh, competency-based education and uh, training courses. In agriculture particularly, we want to introduce uh, horticulture and nursery management. And if possible, we start another course on crop management. These courses are different from what we are offering currently in that they are purely practical. It is what they call uh, applied technology. Kwa Kiswahili, uh, teknolojia tekelezi. We also intend to expand the enterprises of agriculture so that we can be able to serve the county in terms of agricultural extension services. Dissemination of the information to the farmers in the county. And we also intend to, to disseminate the information not only to the county, even to the counties that are neighbors to Nandarwa County. We intend also to develop a research farm where the researched information is what we will be uh, digesting the information and writing it in a way that the farmers can understand, in a way that farmers can be able to apply back on their farms. We have a potato seed ring from uh, Netherlands and it is the first time being trained. We are one of the piloting uh, college and we were supported by Hydrotech, uh, which is based in Naivasha. And they have uh, given us donation all of the potato seeds, the onions, we have uh, dania, that is the coriander. We have the brushel uh, sprouts. We have uh, blockery. We have uh, sorghum. We have various types of fonda crops, grass, and uh, we are doing the production of the seed so that we can even supply to our farmers around Nyandarwa, in Nyandarwa County. And soon and very soon we have an open day whereby the farmers are visiting our institute so that we can enlighten them on various crops which they can do in their farms other than potato salo. Our target is to increase the acreage from uh, the 27 we have now to 50 acres. And uh, one of the challenges is uh, 
poor drainage system, we'll make sure that we have improved on the drain system by putting up uh, one square kilometer dam that will harvest all the water that is now causing water logging in the farms. Our expectation is that uh, one is that we'll improve on the drainage system, two, we will uh, improve on our harvest, three, our students in uh, agricultural engineering will get uh, uh, a learning space for practical lessons. And uh, thirdly, we are hoping that, you know, in line with our estimate, after we have done three to four harvests, we will have return on the investment, and that will be uh, an investment that we'll be proud of. And uh, we will also attract the local farmers as a training avenue. We have a number of partners who are now trying their seeds here in our training garden. We hope you know with uh, their advice, we will take a great stride. Driven by the motto Beacon of Development, the Institute is a national center of excellence in building and civil engineering. The department has various courses, which range from diploma to certificate. We have a diploma in building and technology, which range from Model 1 to Model 3. We also have a diploma in civil engineering, which range from Model 1 to Model 3. We have craft certificate in plumbing. These students take to two years, after which they do the next exam. We have also a certificate in building technology. This is a new course we have started this year, and uh, we have a greater number of students. It takes two years also, and uh, it's planned to be a model. So after, after one year, they do a next exam, that's model one, and then they, they move on to the next year, they do another exam. Uh, the department uh, is the center of excellence in the college, and it has been doing well. Alongside that, we have various courses which are planning to do, uh, to undertake as uh, uh, short courses. We have painting courses, which will take six months, and we have side writing, which will also take six months. Alongside that, we are collaborating with uh, NITA to do the uh, great test, and we have great test in plumbing. We have also a great test in masonry and a great test in carpentry. Uh, for the last five years, we have posted quite a number of uh, in, uh, students who have done, who have done uh, a great test. Out of us, they have gotten a certificate and they are using the certificate alongside the certificate we are giving them that is the new Kenya National Examination Council. Uh, we also intend uh, to start other courses and to collaborate with the, the, current, the county government so that those, those people out there have the skills and have no certificate, we give them a certificate and after that now they will be able to fit in the market. In that line, we are already uh, manufacturing or making uh, chain link for the local market. And also, uh, we are also making concrete poles for fencing. For a start, we have started fencing our own institution, and uh, we have sold also a few to our uh, neighbors who wanted such a, a material. Uh, we are busy you know, upscaling on that so that uh, we add value to the nation and the Nyandarua community. Uh, in this uh, 
department, we offer several courses, inclusive, human resource management, both certificate and diploma. We offer diploma in business management, both certificate and diploma level. We also offer diploma in supply chain management. Recently, we introduced certificate in food and beverage training, the way we are delivering our curriculum. In January, we will be rolling out the CBET courses, that is in certificate in supply chain management and also the, at the diploma level. So we want to position ourselves with the entire uh, training institutions and also be recognized in the world of work. Mathematics and Science is a service department to all other departments, including Agriculture, Electrical Department, Automotive Department, and the Liberal Department. We teach engineering mathematics for all the departments and we also teach all the sciences in all the departments. Currently our pass rate is above 50% and we are intending to improve on this performance in the next year up to 60%. Uh, and this department started as a service department in 2014. Uh, we were in charge of communication skills, life skills, entrepreneurship education, whereby also student rights, business plan, and we also teach Kiswahili and English. With the introduction of CPEC, we are planning to start a course uh, in ad office administration which was previously Secretary of Studies. Now the name has changed to uh, Office Administration. We have insisted that our students should also have uh, a background of training in business courses. Every student must learn issues to do with entrepreneurship, life skill, and uh, communication skill that you know will help them in marketing their trade. Uh, as we Forge forward, we are also strengthening our research and innovation unit. Uh, we were the th third best among the Tibet institutions this year in uh, robotics. And uh, we will make sure that we will improve greatly on our robotics, uh, trade fair, and also research. So with respect to our trade fair projects, eh? We incorporate all departments. We would like to generate some solutions to the existing problems. And for instance, the trend in industrial automation. So we need, we like to have our graduates geared in that direction. This is an example of a pick uh, and place robot, which can be used for a number of activities like research missions, building missions, and other industrial utilities. You find that the moment they are encouraging them to use the microcontrollers and other programmable controllers, our students are well versed and they are ready to enter in the job market with the relevant knowledge that is so required. The main activities of the CSO office is to make sure that there is a continuous advice to our students so that they settle to a career they want and they do what they personally like. Also, we try to engage them so that at least they are comfortable and they do, they give their best to their careers of choice. Then we also, we are also interested to tracking of our students who have finished so that they lay a good foundation for the ones who are continuing within the institute. So, uh, our student goes for attachment and therefore the, the ones who have already finished and we have tracked them, they help us to place these students, the, the, the ongoing students, to the attachment programs. Uh, in our programs with the CSO office, we also uh, engage our student in the 
forums for career days uh, where we invite expertise to come and talk to them, uh, dividing our students into two categories, that is business category and also technical category. We call an engineer for the mentorship for the, the, the technical department and also we call an ICT personnel or uh, business uh, personnel to talk to our uh, business category. With that, we are able to equip them and know what is expected out there so that when they are out for the job market, they are able to fit in the uh, career very well. Uh, we know with the office, we, the, the students will benefit and they are going to go far. Networking is very necessary for job opportunities and that's what we are doing in the, our department. We have adequate staff, both teaching and non-teaching staff. Uh, they are categorized in, all, in different departments and sections. Uh, we have some of our students also working with us, including lecturers, uh, also technicians. Some of them are among our students. Uh, I'm alumni of Nambaro Institute. This is where I've acquired my skills. I've learned since module one, uh, since 2014 until module three. I completed and then came back to give back to the community. As a trainer, I train ICT. I, I service all the students in ICT. Uh, I teach them information, communication, and technology. And I'm happy and I'm proud of being alumni of this institution. This is where I've been molded to be the person I am today. And I'm very happy and I'm very proud of this institution. Welcome to this office. And the main role is on attachment. We have now industrial liaison uh, whereby we send our students for attachment. And even they also look for, uh, for attachment for themselves. We interact with the uh, industries. We interact with um, other people in other institutes who would wish to come here. And whoever comes here, uh, we just receive them. Our students uh, can go for attachment. There are three years that we, 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 the call, we take three years for the course. The student can, can want to take, go for attachment after the first year or the second year, or the third year. It's an option. We do, we as a, an institute, we do not tell a person, a student, that don't go this time, go this time, no. We want them to decide. So that whatever they have decided, they are going to do better in the field. We also provide an internship to graduates from various colleges and uh, universities. Uh, we provide attachment, Actually, we have a very vibrant apprenticeship uh, program where we attach students from colleges and universities uh, to different de departments and sections where we attach them to various senior and experienced members of staff so that they can apply the knowledge they had acquired in their, in their college or in their university uh, to their day-to-day -day life. It is uh, paramount that, you know, as an institute, we have linkage with uh, other industries. We have already uh, got a link with uh, the dualization of, uh, of uh, Nyandarwa uh, and uh, Nyahururu area. We want to partner so that, you know, they, we can upgrade their skills and uh, also help them, you know, in using some of the facilities here so that we, incre we improve, you know, uh, institute uh, community relationship. Dean's office deals with several issues. One of them is the welfare. It has guidance and counseling, sports and uh, Games and sports. Now, guidance and counseling department in the institute mainly focuses uh, in empowering or uh, uh, helping students to cope up with some of the challenges that they face. 
Some of them come around when they are very new and they need to be empowered to understand the purpose for which they are here, to understand the challenges that they might face and the opportunities that are uh, available within the institute. So we will normally facilitate them through an induction. Apart from that, we also have the continuing students, of course. For them, what we do, we normally organize for motivational talks where we handle issues like drug and substance abuse, mannerism, behavior change, uh, health, and specifically we, we involve professionals. Like we would, we, we call people from Nakada and other professionals who can handle issues to do with the uh, substance abuse. Then for health issues, we, we facilitate them through collaborations. Through the Ministry of Health, we have got the medics who come, we conduct HIV and AIDS, uh, blood pressure tests, cervical cancer tests, and general health issues. So that at least the students are healthy and mannerism, they are focused. That's basically what we do. In other talent development, uh, we have, uh, we are putting in place, you know, uh, talent show activities. Not only that, our students are actively participating in uh, all co-curricular activities, uh, such as uh, ball games, athletics, and uh, drama. Uh, in Mount Kenya region, we are the leading institution in uh, ball games. And uh, I can proudly say, you know, even some of the games where, you know, uh, our students normally believe that Mount Kenya cannot lead, such as, uh, uh, such as football and such that is left usually to Western Kenya or areas like that. And currently, our ladies' basket team is the champion, national champion for Tibet institutions. We became, we, we became position one. We, we, our football team always goes up to the national level. And we always take two buses for, for the games out there. Uh, the other issue that I would want to point out is that we have the students' body, which is quite big, and they come from all over the country. We have students from all of all the counties in, in, in this country. My message to the students around Nyandara Institute and around Nyandara in County and even all over Kenya is that if you are looking for a place where you can develop yourselves, and we know that Kenya is a developing country and also our communities are developing each and every morning. If you want a place where you can learn more skills, please welcome to Nyandarwa. As you see, it has enough classes and also enough, enough skilled trainers who are ready to teach us and also direct us on how to gain these skills. Another thing the school has provided Everything we see, we have the good library with everything that we need to ensure that even as Kenya develops and even the whole world, we will be in position to move together with it. Thank you and welcome all. Our library is a state of an art library because it's automated and when we talk about automation it simply means the issue of going green and we have automated all our services whereby our users are able to be uh, registered and after registration this is, uh, the registration is done online and also our users are able to search information materials using their phones and also the computers which has been set aside for the purposes of research, leisure and also entertainment in the library. As you are aware, technical books are not only extremely expensive, but also scarce. With e-book system, our library can boast of some of the best e-learning materials, and we are improving year after year. Uh, in the office of the registrar, we deal with uh, admission, registration, and uh, uh, 
registration of students for external examinations. Uh, generally, we deal with the uh, admission of new students and uh, the continuing students. Uh, in the office of the registrar, we also deal with the uh, student records. That is, uh, we maintain the records of all the students in terms of their personal details and uh, the performance in their departments. The office of the registrar also deals with the uh, registration of students for, as I have said, the external examinations, including NEC, NITA, and uh, the CASNEP courses. The office also deals with the uh, marketing of the institute courses and programs through uh, online platform, through our website, print media. We also use the institute bro brochures and uh, we also visit prospective students either in schools or in attendance through the trade fairs, other education open days across Nyandarwa County and the neighboring counties. We strive to maintain the standards. Uh, we are an ISO certified institute, ISO 9001 2015. So we are guided by the quality manual on the expectations that uh, we meet the standards that have been set, that we have also set for ourselves. Uh, last year, we translated from ISO 2008 to 2015 and we are due for our first uh, surveillance audit in uh, the next one month. We have already done our internal audit. Now, um, the benefits of uh, having standards is that we are able to, uh, to offer or to deliver services in a uniform manner. So that um, everybody, when you are offering a service in your department, you know the procedures to follow. That is why we developed the quality manual. And um, therefore we are able to offer quality uh, service, efficient services, and uh, we are able to improve. We have improved a lot um, due to the growth of PC and also the quality assurance. And um, we are actually committed. Um, if you start from the the gate, you will find our commitment. We have our delivery, uh, service delivery charter. We have our quality policy. We have corporate objectives, and we are continually um, reviewing our policies, our objectives to be in line with uh, what we are doing. Recently, we. We, we are starting, we, we started the process of uh, competence-based education and training and therefore we are going now to review our policies so that now they are in line with the emerging issues, especially in the technical and vocational field. We are committed to that as an Institute. CBET, C-B-E-T, uh, stands for com uh, Competence-Based Education and Training. So these courses uh, are expected to be, to be rolled out in the whole of this nation uh, in line with the uh, implementation of the, uh, of the four big agenda of this nation. And therefore, Nyandaro Institute is not left behind. We are planning, or we have planned already, it is uh, there in our program, that uh, January 2020, we are going to roll up CBET courses. We will uphold the government policy of rolling out CBET. Uh, we have uh, a strong team of uh, CBET uh, trainers led by the CBET champion. And uh, by January, we'll be ready to roll out that program and we'll make sure that we have met the government expectation and exceeded it. Definitely we will improve on our quality of our training and we appeal to the nation and the general public at large to put Nyandaro Institute of Science and Technology as their preferred institute of training.